People arrived at SARS headquarters at 1 a.m. to beat the queues in Cape Town in July 1, the official start of the tax season. By 8 a.m., SARS in Cape Town had 800 people braving the winter to hopefully get some sort of rebate, a top-up much needed with various increases going up on the same day. The famous granny who skydived her way to 100 years this year, Georgina Harwood, officially cut the ribbon at 7.45. She is still a tax bank citizen, believe it or not. She spoke to Fin24. <laughs> so today you cut, cut the ribbon for the tax season. How many years have you been paying tax? Well, listen, please. I've been earning a salary since I was um, uh, 25. So that's a long time. Uh, well, and I presume my tax was taken off my... Don't ask me when I started paying. T Actually, I was of the... Then I got married, you see. And I didn't pay any tax because my husband had to pay the tax. Don't you realize that in the early days, we women didn't have, didn't pay any tax. I only, presumably, I was working for the city council and um, I presumed, I, I, I didn't think my salary was taxable, but I really don't know. And then I got married and the married women didn't pay tax because any income I would earn would be added on to my husband's income. So I wasn't taxable. At one stage I wanted to do a small job, at get 20, uh, 20 pounds a month part time. I went to the receiver of revenue or some official there and they said, oh well, if you're earning that, your husband's tax will go up 200 a year. So, <laughs> so that's about the amount, the amount of tax you paid back then. and That's what he would have had to pay because of my additional income added on to his salary. He was a civil servant, you see. Yeah. So it wasn't worth my while working. And, and now do you, you, still, you obviously still pay tax. Why do well, you pay, I pay tax? Uh, well, you see, I'm a civil servant a pensioner. And they take the tax off before they give me my pension. And, and do, does, that, does that make your pension go a little less? And do you, are you happy with your tax being taken off? Well, it, uh, they suddenly started taking extra off it and I've had trouble finding out why. So, but I've always been a, you know, my tax is taken off the pension. They, and they tell me every year exactly how much it is that I pay. And I, I'm a bit vague about it, but it's a couple of thousand a year. so. I'm paying tax there. But you do agree with the idea of paying tax for, for the country and, and, and even at, 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 at your age now you feel like it's very important to contribute? Well, I, I, I feel I have been contributing to, the, um, to South Africa in, in effect all my life because even working, working with my husband, he, was a, he became Attorney General here, if you know what, he was in Department of Justice. And so he was, he was working there and I was supporting him and looking after my family. So I feel I've been working for South Africa all my life in effect. And, and in effect, and I am proud of being a South African. I mean, my father came out here in South Africa in 1901 and set up the health section of, of the government. And my, my mother's father was Matabele Thompson and worked with Rhodes in the old days. So I am a South African and um, proud of it. And my ch I was one of six children and I've had four myself. So there's quite a lot of my family is still here in South Africa, paying tax to South Africa. <laughs> what, more, what more do you want? <laughs> but. Uh, none of us, I don't imagine, pay an awful lot of tax because I, I've never earned my, my husband's salary. Being a civil servant was never very much, but so I haven't earned an awful lot of money. But I've had a reasonably comfortable life and done all the right things, and hopefully at the right time. So there it is. And, and the, since, since democracy, have you, do you feel like tax goes to the right places? Mm. 
no, it doesn't all go to the right places because quite a lot of it goes into the, the hands of people who shouldn't be having it. Anyway, we, I'm, not going, I'm not in a position to talk politics or anything like that, but one of the things that distresses me is the inability and, and the lack of, of uh, knowledge and administrative, administrative ability of the people trying to run the country. Not the politicians, but the civil servants, so many of them. So you, so you have, a, so you have a, a good message for, for the civil servants of South Africa? The message is to South Africa, especially to the youth of South Africa, is to uh, keep their integrity in every way. Pay tax, look after themselves, look after their families. And I think women ought to be more aware of their instincts of, as being carers and that they should be have their families and their homes and their husbands their first care. But as I say, it's, the question of integrity to me is important for yourself and everybody else. That's all I can say. I don't know whether that answers your question. It does. I'm going to end it right Yes. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. This, now, oh, is that the outside? That, that is that's outside, outside, yes. outside, yes.